Oh, my friends, my friends, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> this is Psycho Man Dan. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, Psy Man Dan. <laughs> He's attacking me about my statements about giants and dragons. You know, this is one of his intelligent poses. <laughs> I, I would love to debate with him. I'd have a great time. I could just, we could just have fun, man. I'm telling you, we'd just have a great time. Because he claims to be a, you know, very intelligent scientist on all levels. And I, I feel I am the same. <laughs> so I would really, really love to Zoom with a Psy Man Dan. <laughs> now, wait a second. Boy, I'll tell you, I haven't felt this mischievous since I was like 12 years old. <laughs> All right, Dan, who's got the biggest? <laughs> I want to Roger versus Simon Dan. Any subject, Danny, anytime, we'll do a Zoom. Contact me, roger at mudfossils.com. Who's got the biggest? <laughs> Who is going to hide? I got a feeling Simon Dan going to be hard to find. Well, somebody told me blind man Dan might be hiding out in the desert near this fish over here. So I came out to look at the fish and I looked around. I could not find blind man Dan or sci-fi Dan or whoever he is. And, um, but I did find a fish, of course. The fish has been there. And the dragon that attached attacked him is right up here. And, of course, blind man Dan <laughs> can't see the dragon either. It's hard to believe that somebody claiming to be a science guy, although, of course, he could be a PhD. Then he would not be able to see this either. <laughs> okay, maybe Dan can see this, or maybe you can. This is the dragon I claim is in the desert. It was attacking the fish. I'll show you in detail in a moment. There's his red flary eye. This is the outline of his head. This is his throat right there, that little blue line. This is the outline of his scales. And this is all the stuff he spit at the fish. Now, I'm going to erase this. You can all go back at it. This is that little fluty stuff you see on the side of the dragons in all the parades. Now, just take a look at it. There's the red flary eye. It flashes back. I'll home in on it. There's that little fluty thing that runs down. And I'm going to back out of here. This, this is a good-sized dragon. And these are the scales that run down. And all that was spit down at that fish. Now, let's see if this makes sense. All right, there's the fish. I showed you the fish. That's a good-sized fish. And these are all the scales. You see the scales going this way. He's headed that way. There's his tail over here. And there's the fin that runs up the top. And all that was spit down at him. And some of it actually hit, hit his, the back of his, his vital flesh up here. And corroded right into it. You can see right down, you can actually see the blood vessels and everything. You can see the arteries, the veins, the blood vessels, the actual blood running into the cells. I mean, this thing was gigantic. That's not your average landscape. Now, Simon and Dan might be able to explain that, but I have an explanation that says that the giant dragon spit all kind of toxin at this fish, and that toxin was nasty. That's not your average spit. It came right out of here. Where do you see this? It comes out of his beard. Look at this stuff. All right, is that average? Dan, what do you think that is, Danny? Can you help me out there, Psy Man? <laughs> All right, here's his red flary eye. And they talk about this in Apollodorus. You ever read Apollodorus, Psy? All right, here it goes. There's his red flashy eye. And here's his head right here. And here's his throat. His throat runs all the way down. This is all just runoff. This right here, my good, wonderful friends, is where his throat is. Right there is the throat. Right down this tube is his throat. And it got cut right there. <laughs> it got cut. By who? Well, a Zeus, obviously, with his great and mighty sword. So let's see about those uh, dragon scale sigh. What do you think, buddy? You think they look a little like dragon scales? <laughs> do you think that's your average landscape there, Cy? All right, so here's a little fluty stuff on the parade. Here's your throat. 
uh, where it eats people and giant things. I don't know what they ate. That's the thing. I don't. I don't have the answers for a lot of this stuff. But I could. I am a material scientist. I'm showing you material, my good friend Dan. Take a look. Now, remember I said it was caught? Zip. There it is. There's his throat caught something terrible. And when a throat gets caught like that, it bleeds. And what does it bleed? It bleeds blood. And what is blood? It is an extremely fabulous nitrogen source for anything that grows. And this happens to be growing the most green green which is from nitrogen, which makes makes the um, chlorophyll extremely active. So here's another thing we can talk about, Dan. A little, little chemistry, my friend. How about that? A little biology. Woo, we could have a good time. I really, I'm serious. I would love to talk with you if you feel that you have some competence. I don't see that at the moment, my friend. I have to be perfectly honest. But if we can discuss whatever you'd like to discuss, I don't care what it is. Nuclear physics, science, space, planets, ancient history, Apollodorus, Herodotus, Hesiod. I don't care what you want. Or anything you want, my friend. Anything. But I got I got a feel you're going to hide from me. And then, then that will prove who is competent and who is is a fraud now we'll find out who is who because i'm going to tell you i stand up to anybody and you are no problem for me my friend now i'm going to show you something i don't know i find this hard to believe but it's possible this book was on amazon two days ago and it was called down to earth mud fossils of the world dragon serpents dinosaurs so forth Stevie Aza and James Gentry. Now, I was told this person, apparently it's a woman, was forced to take a mental evaluation. Okay, this is very strange, but we'll find out if it's true or not. Maybe people have some information that I don't have. I never heard about this, but somebody alerted me to this book and told me that this person, Stevie Aza, was forced to take a mental evaluation. I don't know if that's true or not. So I try to find out about this person. I can't find anything about her. It's a, a woman, apparently. So I, I can't find anything. So I went after this guy, James Gentry, to see if I could figure out who he was. And, and I did. Now, this was on, Kin, on uh, Amazon yesterday, or two days ago. And it's $2.99 and so forth. And here's the whole deal about it. Well, I get a hold of, well, I didn't get a hold of him. I emailed him to say, I'd like to talk to you about the mud fossils and about this Stevie Aza. And um, I go back today, which was the next day, and it's gone. They took it down. And I haven't heard from him either, so I don't know. You know, I would like to discuss it with Cy Man Dan or any of these people that are talking about giving mental evaluations to people for believing evidence. I'm showing evidence. so. This is a problem. The academics can totally ignore this and then arrogantly, just like he does, you know, be kind of nasty about it. And, you know, saying, how could anybody listen to this? They're idiots. And, and then you know that if you speak up, you're going to be considered an idiot. And that's what he has is a bunch of idiots that respect him, but they, they have to say what he says and, and, and you know, and be nice to him. Or otherwise, they'll be idiots. It's a group mentality now. There is no search for truth anymore. It's, it's unbelievable. If, if, I very much doubt whether I'll hear from him. And I, I want everybody to go to his page. It's Cy Man Dance. Say, why don't you talk to Roger? You, you, you're mouthing off about him. Talk to him. Stand up for yourself. I'd like to see that happen. I'll be there. I guarantee you that. Boy, I find this very interesting. I... I got a thing saying that Stevie Ezia, who apparently is a woman, was ordered to take a mental test after writing this book about mud fossils. And I said, whoa, whoa, how could this be? So I, I tried to find out, and I can't find anything about this person other than some singer and doesn't seem to be the right person. But James Gentry, who is a co-author, I saw his name on here, and they're showing the book, and it's for sale for two ninety nine. So I contact James Gentry, 
asking, can I get involved and we can get together and talk about this and so forth. I sent him a whole detailed thing about it and he, he's PhD from Harvard and he's been to the University of Virginia and George Mason and he's an assistant professor of religious studies at Stanford Religious Studies School of Humanities and Science. Now, if she got intimidated and was forced to take a mental test, I don't know who she is and I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I somebody sent me. So I looked up, can they make you take a test? And apparently they can in Ohio. Now, I, I, I find this hard to believe, but that's what I got. 